That's pretty cool. <laughs> L A L U in both cases. I think we. Oh my I goodness. Think we uh, missed a Ken combo while that was happening, but Alan uh, able to recover. I mean, we didn't miss that forward smash. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty nice. <laughs> Definitely not. And the Moon rocking the classic. Called him the Moon again. Rocking the classic 20 BC tag. Uh, a reference to a hilarious joke that I don't need to explain. Uh, right uh, no, yeah, and the moon, uh, I'm gonna think pretty, I wanna say pretty good at this matchup. Um, he, the one person I believe he struggles with a little bit is Swedish Knight. Uh, looking real nice in, in this match against Alan. So yeah, again, Alan, a peach uh, and Sheik player. Yeah, no, and the Sheik already out in the early going. But I don't know, maybe after this game, if, he, if he's not feeling confident enough, he's not unable to go and take a couple more stocks. Yeah. The forward air not going to take it, so I might go back to the piece, oh you never know. Oh, God. Alan completely botches that edge guard. I think he was trying to go for a light shield option, but kind of accidentally turned around and wasn't able to finish it off. That should do it. Nice, nice job on the runoff, just making sure he didn't accidentally slip off and mess up the double jump. I yeah, I think that. Alan tends to stick to characters based on the matchup. He doesn't really switch too often based on uh, how the sets go, unless it's a character where sort of you know, both his characters do pretty well. So it's me, for example, he'll sometimes switch back and forth between Peach and Sheik. Um, but I think he is probably going to stick with Sheik for this set. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to slip up in there with a couple of these areas. Like Luna too, is he putting up that shield or just being really Wow, nice little sequence here by Alan. Yes, and he covers the... Uh, that Marth neutral, or sorry, that Marth forward B when they're recovering, it has a lot of lag. So if you could just go out and hit them while they're doing it, uh, they're left with not very much of an option. Unfortunately, uh, Mabuna calls out that Alan wasn't going to go for the ledge, and he was correct. The mash right out. What's up, Master of Luna? Just a little late on getting the throw, but nonetheless, <laughs> still trying to get whatever he can. Yeah, power shield on the forward smash means that I was very close to hitting. They are just wow. kind of moving with one that another right now. That's needle charge cancel. That is very nice. Looking like spark a little bit. I mean, Alan's doing that quite a bit in the set. He's kind of changing his direction when he knows he can't get that aerial in. Yeah. But Marth definitely able to space out Sheik. I think this is another uh, matchup where people have kind of gone back and forth over the years. Uh, I think again, another matchup where Sheik was considered to dominate just because of her combos and whatnot, but then he showed up and he was like, hey, you can do this edge guard. Uh, so we'll see, we might see it right here. Yep. Jump through, knock, cheek back off. Alan's <laughs> <laughs> saying, all right, whatever. <laughs> I, I just want to get everyone excited real quick. You know, you see a Zelda. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Uh, FLD. Alan, yeah. real quick, and stays with the Sheik. Yeah, no. Had to read yet again. No Peach coming out for him, but I feel it's still going to be a little difficult. Going to have to worry about these platforms, but at least they can go away after a little bit. A little smaller playing field for Allen to try to close that space. Pretty good punish there. It's hard to get too much at 0%. Uh, I don't know the flow chart exactly, but I believe that there. Well, I'm not sure how much she can get guaranteed. Let's put it that way. Flipping in. Oh. Now a good opportunity. Oh, right there on the top platform. I'll yeah, like I think he could have gone for an up air, but uh, they're always pretty safe breaking the ASD. Oh, he's just trying to take what he can right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that might be the peach in him, too. He's like, neutral air? I got it. <laughs> well, unfortunate stuff yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's punishable. Ooh, I think Luna thought he was going to grab the ledge. I think Alan maybe thought that also. Didn't edge guard quite. I thought Luna. Oh, my goodness. Didn't get him over. All right. <laughs> Probably an up tilt was what he meant to do. No matter either way, no punish on him. But this is kind of just reminiscent of that last game about Luna getting himself out to a big lead, and Alan you know, was able to go ahead and climb himself back. Do you Ooh. see the same thing? Yeah, Never again, uh, Mabuna calls out that Alan is not going to try and go for the ledge because he's scared of the Edgehog. And again, is correct. So, got him two stocks so far. Yeah, that downer. Whoa. Uh, yeah, a couple he's weird just taunting. He's just taunting. little options from Alan from these edge guards. Um, 
buffs. Look, he's trying to pull a tournament. Whoa. Pull what? That actually... That might actually be true. Yeah. <laughs> I think more like he was trying to do a needle while fast falling or something. But maybe. I know when I play, like, if I like play Fox and then I play Peach or something, I'll try and down in the air and I'll be like, wait a second. <laughs> All right, back though, setting him right out. Ooh. Good down smash. Crouch cancel down stock. smash. Wow, taking that, that stock pretty early. Uh, trying to make this. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so. Another case of somebody getting caught you know, stalling at the ledge incorrectly. And that is going to do it for that match.